Hi everybody, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to take you through sort of a DIY basket wall kind of thing. If you say have a really large spot in your home but you're not really into artwork or maybe you already have enough artwork in your home, this is kind of a really good way to fill a space that you're really unsure of what to put there. Also really affordable which is obviously a huge plus. All of these baskets are from the thrift store which is amazing. I hope that this helps bring a little bit of inspiration into your home decor so yeah let's just hop right into it. All right so the first thing that you're obviously going to need is a ton of baskets. Now I found these at thrift stores. I mean I, I didn't just go to one, I went to a ton of them over the course of a couple months uh, just because it's hard to find all the ones you need at one place. I was looking primarily for really flat ones but having some with a little bit of different depth like these kind of looks really cool as well. You just don't want them to all be sticking out really far from the wall. I feel like you really want that kind of depth so yeah this is all of the ones that I found. Very happy with that. We have a whole bunch of different sizes. I kind of wish that we found one that was a little bit darker um, in the small version. I think eventually I'm still gonna have to like find that. For the most part, these were about $2.99 each. Some of them were even as cheap as being $1.99. So this is quite an affordable little DIY home decor thing. You're gonna wanna start off by taking some paper. I'm just using some brown paper, but use anything you have in your home. If you have some newspaper, just repurpose. This is just some old uh, shipping paper that I had from a PR package. So we're gonna use this to trace out every single one of our baskets. So like I said, every single one should be traced out. We're gonna use this as sort of like a placeholder to figure out where we want to put our nails and where we wanna hang our baskets. You don't have to do this, it is quite a bit more work, but I would highly suggest that you do because we're hanging up so much stuff, you don't really wanna end up with like, you know, 90 holes in your wall. So it's a really good idea to actually do this and figure out where you want them before putting your nails in. I'm actually also labeling each circle so I knew which one was which size because some of them are pretty similar. The next step is to figure out your placement. A good suggestion is to just tape everything up on the wall. Once it's all up there, then you can start reorganizing organizing and seeing what fits where better but yeah just get them all up on the wall and then start moving them around I kept taking like a step back to see how things looked um, you don't want too many of the same sizes next to each other that because that tends to not look very good you also want to bear in mind what colors are going next to each other so it's nice to have some darker ones break up all the lighter baskets so make sure that you're putting that one in you know between a lot of the lighter ones different sizes and different colors is pretty key I'm also using this little beaded basket basket as well. So hanging these bad boys is literally the easiest thing in the world. You do not need anything special. You just need some jumbo paper clips. That's that's literally it. Um, you could use other forms of like command hooks and that kind of thing, but I just found that this makes your life so easy. You're gonna be hanging these using thumbtacks and that's what's so good about this is that the paper clip will just go on top of the thumbtack and there's that little edge that you can use as well to help keep it in place and so that it won't fall off the wall. So now we're gonna start hanging everything thing up you're just going to want to take the little paper off of the wall and then throw your thumbtack in and hang it on up it's quite simple i'm putting this above my bed and you might think i'm doing it really close to the ceiling but all of my pillows are kind of slouched over and you really want to be able to sort of lean up against the wall at the end of the day so So you're gonna notice that my little basket wall is a little off-centered. I really want another dark brown basket to go on the right-hand side, kind of like a medium size, just to fill that little gap that is there. I don't love that last one that I put on. It's too close to the same size and color of the other one. All right, so like I said in the video, this guy right there, not good. He needs to be bigger, browner, like he kind of needs to be like this guy kind of size. So that is something that I am gonna be looking for. So that's something to keep in mind. You can kind of see how too many of the same colors don't really look the greatest next to each other. Unless you're doing all the same color in general, then of course that's gonna look great. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that I gave you kind of quick ways if you're looking to do this. It's pretty quick, it's pretty simple. I love you guys so much and as always, I will see you in my next video. Bye.